This is a Harlan Institute fantasy cast for Howes v. Fields. This case involves the Miranda warning, which was created to inform suspects of their rights to remain silent and to retain an attorney before they are questioned by police. Specifically, it highlights the question, when is it necessary for police to give the Miranda warning to a suspect? Randall Fields was serving a 45-day sentence in Lakeland County Correctional Facility when he was questioned about his participation in unrelated criminal activity. The deputy who questioned Fields removed him from his cell and interviewed him in a nearby conference room for several hours. Fields was never informed of his Miranda rights, but he was told several times that he was free to leave the conference room whenever he felt it necessary. By the end of the questioning, Fields had made self-incriminating statements to the deputy. These confessions were used in court, even though Fields' attorney made a motion to exclude them, saying that the statements were unlawfully obtained because the deputy failed to give Fields the Miranda warning before the interview. Fields was convicted of third-degree sexual misconduct at trial and appealed the verdict in federal court. The District Court of the Eastern District of Michigan agreed with Fields, holding that the deputy in charge of the investigation had violated Fields' Fifth Amendment right to avoid self-incrimination when he did not issue the Miranda warning. The Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals affirmed the holding for Fields, so Carol Howes, as the warden of the Lakeland Correctional Facility, appealed the Sixth Circuit's holding to the Supreme Court. She argues that, because the Miranda warning is only necessary when a suspect is in police custody, the deputy was not required to read Fields' his rights, as Fields was repeatedly told that he was free to leave the conference room, and therefore was not in custody. The Supreme Court granted certiorari and agreed to consider whether the defendant Fields was in custody for the purposes of Miranda, and whether the deputy violated Fields' Fifth Amendment rights by not issuing the Miranda warning. Thank you for listening to this fantasy cast. For more information, please visit harlaninstitute.org or fantasyscotus.org.